I'm Mizuki Toi, 26 years old. I run a capsule toy company. The kind of small toy that comes out in the capsule when you turn a knob on the case. The company has less than 10 employees, but thanks in part to its talented staff, business is going well. This Some Meow Vacation Cat series project is interesting. Thank you. But I'm not sure if we can get orders with just this one. So can you come up with a few more? Yes. All right, that's about it for today. Thank you all for your help. And please keep track of the products in progress. Yes. yes. No, it's from Haruka. Boy, is that the president's girlfriend? You've been together for two years, right? When are you getting married? Don't worry about me, just do your work. It's no secret that I have a girlfriend. But that's probably why they sometimes tease me like that. But I'm thinking about it too. So you'll come to my place next Sunday? Yeah. You made arrangements for your father to meet with us too, right? Yeah, I told him there's someone that wants to meet him. I think he knows what I'm talking about. I see. I'm ready for it, but a greeting for marriage is nerve-wracking. Don't worry, Mizuki. And besides, my dad's in the same industry as you, so I'm sure you'll have something in common. It's fate how I met you, who's President Kachiya's daughter, who's in the same industry as his cafe. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. When I was in elementary school, I loved the excitement of capsule toys. You never knew what would come out of the casing. I wanted to give shape to that excitement, so I took on the challenge, and the long-established manufacturer represented by President Kachiya is a big part of what has kept me going with the dream I have today. Dad said he'll be here soon, so sit down and wait while I bring you some tea. Okay, in a way, President Kachi is the man I most admire. Getting more and more nervous. But I was to hear something shocking that would blow my nerves out of the water. I'm sorry after you came all this way to say hello, but I'm going to have Haruka have an arranged marriage. I'm sorry, but you'll have to leave. What? Arranged marriage? You're here to get married, aren't you? I met you today because I thought it would be better to talk to you in person. Haruka is getting married to Mitsuru Okuda, the young president of Okuda Foods. He is also very enthusiastic about it, and we're thinking of having them married sometime next year. So give it up. Wait, what are you talking about? I didn't hear anything about an arranged marriage. How am I supposed to marry someone I don't even know? It's okay. I showed him your picture and described your personality and hobbies. He liked you and thought you were a nice girl. <laughs> we met at a party. And since you're both single, we got to talking. He's a nice young man, too. So he's a perfect match for you. But that doesn't mean I'm okay with it. Don't proceed things without telling me. I have Mizuki. Um, father, is that something you proceeded without knowing of my existence? If so, I'm sorry. I should have come for a greeting earlier before talking about marriage. Haruka and I are dating and we are seriously considering marriage. Could you please cancel the arranged marriage and allow us to get married? I will make your daughter happy. Raise your head. There's nothing wrong with you. It's not about the timing of the greeting. Sooner or later, it's all the same. You just need to let Haruka go. That's all. Wait, father. Hey, dad. Listen for a second. I'm sorry, Mizuki. I never heard that either. I didn't think that this would happen. It's okay. It's not your fault, Haruka. Don't worry about it. I'm never going on an arranged marriage. The only person I want to marry is Mizuki. Thanks, Haruka. Today, I've been so upset by the unexpected, but Haruka's words were the only thing that saved me. Your father said next year, right? There's still time. He doesn't know I'm in the same industry as him. If he finds out, he might change his mind. And I'll come and talk to him when I have time. Yeah. After that, Haruka tried to persuade President Kachiya by explaining that I run a company in the same industry as his. But apparently, he still didn't show any interest in me. I made time to talk to President Kachiya often. Father! Please listen! You again! Back off! You heard from Haruka, right? My name is Mizuki Toei, and I make capsule toys too. This product, Mega Cross, has been my favorite series since I was a kid. It is no exaggeration to say that your company's products have made me who I am today. It is my greatest pleasure to have met your daughter and to want to spend my whole life with her. I will make her happy. Please let me marry her. Don't say I'll make her happy so lightly. Aren't you ashamed to use the fact that you're in the same industry as a factor for marriage? What do you take my daughter for? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. There are people who can make my daughter happier than you. Don't come here again. No good. Dad doesn't seem to want to meet us. He won't even listen to me anymore. You're his only daughter, and he's not going to give her to some stranger so easily. You have to be ready for marriage. Don't worry, I won't give up. Mizuki. President Kachiya said the man she's having an arranged marriage with is someone who can make my daughter happier than you. In order to get President Kachiya's approval, 
have to become someone who could make him think that. I worked harder than ever. I increased the number of projects and brought on new employees to increase the number of new products. And the company's sales and attention grew steadily. The product sold more and more thanks to the increased exposure on TV and in magazines, which had a combined effect on the sales. The number of machines in operation increased and we began to see a lot of posts on social media taking pictures of the product. And then six months passed. This is not good. My company was mentioned in an article on the capsule toy industry is thriving. President Kachia's company, on the other hand, is struggling with poor performance. I had originally heard that growth had been slowing, but the recent decline has been severe. I see him struggling at home with his head in his hands these days. They're having a hard time selling their products and they're suffering a lot. Thanks to this, he's not even talking to me about the arranged marriage anymore, which is a relief. I'm sure it's just a reflection of how selfish he's been. I see. Haruka, I want to talk to your father. Will you come with me? What? It has been a while, President Katya. You? What are you doing here? You did an interview with the magazine a long time ago, and they said that you often come to this bar for inspiration. I'm sorry, but I can't afford to be bothered with you right now. Leave. I'm here today to talk business. But business Yes. The SD Robot series Megacross, one of your representative products. Ben, would you be willing to collaborate with us in the joint development of this product? We would like to collaborate with you on this joint project with your company in charge of sales. Actually, we have already prepared a plan. But the collaboration? Yes. Your Megacross is a wonderful series, but it is almost the only product in the series and our analysts suggest that demand may be waning. You need to expand the demand with a new approach other than having it look cool. We have a wealth of know-how in this area, including many figures of various everyday objects and interesting series. We think it will be a win-win situation if we could offer ideas such as a series of accessories for Megacross or Megacross in daily life, combining a weapon fighting robot with everyday knickknacks. I never had that idea because I was so caught up in the stereotypes. Toys with everyday accessories are also popular as photo shooting accessories for figures and so on. People post photos of them on social networking sites. Sometimes that's how they become popular. There are still many adult fans of Megacross and we can expect a resurgence of popularity through social media. Also, we have overseas sales channels, so how about an overseas expansion? There are a lot of Megacross fans overseas, so I think there would be enough potential. Why do you go to such great lengths for me when I treated you coldly? Is it because you want me to approve the marriage with my daughter? No. I understand that your decision to arrange Haruka's marriage was truly out of concern for your daughter. Because your face in the photo with Haruka was overflowing with kindness. It has nothing to do with my personal life. Actually, I started a business with my friends when I was a university student, but the company didn't do well. The difference between my company and President Kachia's is different, of course, but there was no one around to help us then, and it was a really tough time. So, I know how you feel now. The pain of a company falling on hard times, the pain of having employees and wanting to do something to keep the company from going out of business, the suffering with no way out. I really wish someone had reached out to me and helped me. I've overcome the failures of my first company, grown my current company, and have the resources to do so. And you're in the same industry, so I have a practical way to help. So please, let me help you. I guess I'm the one that needs to bow down. I wanted the arranged marriage with nothing but the best intentions for my daughter's happiness, but my eyes were blinded for my job and then my daughter. I can't believe I treated a man of this stature with such disrespect. Father. Toy-san, I'm looking forward to working with you. Then, in a joint project with my company, we started a series called New The New Mega Cross for Everyday Life. Not only did the product itself attract attention, but the collaboration between the two companies with fans of both makers buying the products. Posts on social media also attract a lot of attention. Taking my advice, President Kachia also brought in new young talent full of ideas and started developing a new series in line with current needs outside of the Megacross series. The company's performance has been gradually recovering. President Kachia went to Okuda-san, the partner for the arranged marriage, to apologize and ask him to cancel it. Fortunately, he was a good man and readily agreed when he explained the situation. And then, thinking about it, there are all kinds of people in this world, and you never know when you'll meet someone fall in love, get married, and spend the rest of your life with him. In that sense, that cafe is like a capsule to a machine of life. And I met the best one of them all. I must be the luckiest guy in the world. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.